こんにちは、アイです。Hello, my name is Ai. I'm a Japanese mom who lives in Southern California with my two girls and my partner. In this video, I'm gonna introduce Japanese home cooking. Keywords are easy, simple, yummy, and Japanese. はい、えー、Please fill the blank.、えー、I'll give you a sentence. Cooking is blah blah blah. Cooking is what for you? For me, cooking is a love art. エンターテインメント、エンサイエンス、ね、クッキングイズファン、and today I had so much fun preparing a special、uh, using special ingredient or kinds of foods. So this, this is called コーヤ豆腐 or some people call it コリ豆腐 or シミ豆腐 So as you can guess from the name, this is a tofu.、Uh, it's a frozen and dried tofu. So how they make this thing is first they、uh, fr- freeze tofu for、uh, 15 to 20 days and then dry it. And you get something like this,、uh, koya tofu. And koya tofu is、uh, full of nutrition, more than regular tofu.、Uh, I'll give you a number to make a one、uh, tofu, one package of tofu. It's about 300 grams. It requires 100 grams of、um, soybean.、Yeah? And with the same amount of 100 grams of soybean, you make 45 grams of、uh, this one, koya tofu, about two pieces. So this one, merely packed with nutrition of protein, calcium, and iron. Super! スーパーフード。And、高野豆腐 is used for、uh, lots of、uh, Buddhist monk cooking. And 高野豆腐の name, the name came from a、uh, 高野山、高野 mountain in 和歌山 prefecture in Japan. And legend said in old, old time, there's a Buddhist monk in a 高野 mountain and he's in, he was in charge of cooking. So it's a lower level of monk or like a training. Training. And then he one day in a cold winter day, he dropped the tofu outside and then he left it there. And the next morning, he saw the frozen tofu and、uh, he tried and it was so tasty. So, legend said that's the、uh, beginning of、uh, Kori tofu or Koya tofu. Very、uh, interesting.、Uh, traditional way of cooking.、Uh, コヤ豆腐 First, you have to soak in a lukewarm water for about 10 minutes and it will expand 1.5 times bigger. And then you wash it in the water and squeeze out the water, and then、uh, you can start cooking. And traditional way of cooking is simmer with、uh, dashi, sugar, soy sauce, and, and I didn't like it. I didn't like it very much, so I didn't think about introducing koya tofu in my video. But then recently I realized there are so many ways to use koya tofu.、Um, this will be big, big in maybe Los Angeles as a vegan, vegan ingredient. And you can, you can、uh, pre season and deep fry and make a mock fried chicken. So you can use as a bread. Like、you can make French toast, or you can make a sandwich with this, or、uh, you can use as a substitute for a、uh, uh, so you can use as a carbohydrate substitute, or you can u- use as a substitute for meat. So you can pre prep this one and then、uh, make it small pieces, and you can use as a ground meat.、ね、so amazing! And you can Make cookies too. So today I'm gonna introduce four dishes using this、uh, koya tofu. First,、uh, mock fried chicken, and then cookie, protein cookie. Instead of flour, I'll use this. I'll make、uh, protein cookies and、um, sandwich, and then I'll make soboro. Soboro. Soboro is, I have a previous video, but soboro is a grand chicken seasoned with a soy sauce, sugar, mirin, sake. And instead of using meat, you can make a soboro or a grand meat with this one. So I'm gonna introduce four dishes and four、uh, cookies. I, I borrow the recipe or I use the recipe from a cookpad. 
あの Japanese cooking site cookpad but unfortunately the site is only in Japanese so I put the link in description box、uh, I, it's not my original recipe. I use somebody's <laughs> recipe. So I will put that link down be below, ne? description box. And today I talked so much, but、uh, it's fun to know the history and、uh, story of each ingredient. So if you don't like it, please skip it. I'll put the timeline on the, on down below too. So again, I'm very excited and I had. It's、too much fun using this uh, uh, tofu, kori tofu or koya tofu. And I know some creative、uh, cooks and chefs are watching my YouTube channel. And I hope you can invent something fun, fun, fun recipe with、uh, koya tofu. Hi, so let's start. And if you are new to this channel, Please don't forget to subscribe. And if you have a request for future menu, please write it down. Comment section down below. Let's start with mock fried chicken.、Uh, to make a mock fried chicken, we need four p i e c e of koya tofu, one teaspoon of grated garlic, and one teaspoon of grated ginger. I use the tubed one today. 3 tablespoon of soy sauce, 1 tablespoon of sesame oil and some salt, 3 tablespoon of cornstarch, and 3 tablespoon of flour. And before we start cooking, we have to、uh, soak koya tofu in warm water for about 10 minutes. So、uh, pour the warm water in a container and then place a plastic wrap. And wait for 10 minutes. And after 10 minutes,、uh, it, the size i n c r e a s e by 1.5 times more. And we're gonna wash with the water one by one. So place in a cold water and wash. And as you can see, the water starts to be、uh, not unclear. So,、uh, And then squeeze out the water, and if necessary, change the water until the water gets clear. And squeeze with your hands, squeeze the excess water. So now、uh, cut using your hand, cut into the bite size. And we're gonna marinate. One teaspoon of、uh, grated garlic, about one teaspoon of grated、uh, ginger, and add one tablespoon of sesame oil, and add three tablespoons of soy sauce, and mix well. And add some salt. So, this is a marinade for、uh, mock fried chicken. And then place over the、uh, koya tofu, all over the koya tofu. And using、uh, your hands, clean hand. Uh, massage, mix well. And add three tablespoons of cornstarch and three tablespoons of flour. And again, using your hand,、uh, mix very well. And we're gonna deep fry. So heat the、uh, uh, cooking oil of, in a frying pan over medium heat. Deep fry the mock fried chicken or koya tofu until both sides are golden brown and nice and crispy. As you can see,、uh, it's nice, golden brown, and very crispy. And 
、uh, mock fried chicken or koya dofu, fried koya dofu is ready to serve. And this one you can eat as it is or、uh, add any、uh, sauce, like、uh, ketchup, I like、uh, okonomiyaki sauce or tonkatsu sauce, and served with、uh, lemon. And this one tastes really, really amazingly good. Better than real chicken. Our next dish is protein cookies, a very healthy one. And we use the already prepared, pre prepared、uh, koya dofu,、uh, soaked in the water and squeezed out the excess water. And we need、uh, four of them and four tablespoons of sugar, two tablespoons of butter, it's melt, and two tablespoons of milk, and then one tablespoon of cinnamon powder. Cinnamon. And we're gonna slice the koya dofu very thinly. Our goal is to make a very crispy, crunchy cookie, protein cookies. So、uh, slice thinly and place the butter,、uh, milk, sugar. And cinnamon, about one tablespoon of cinnamon. I like cinnamon, so I put more than one tablespoon. But about one tablespoon. And mix very well. And we're gonna place the、uh, already cut、uh, koya dofu and toss. So you can put in a ziplock or plastic bag and then massage it too. Like I mix well.、Uh, today I didn't have ziplock, so in a bowl. Mix very well and coat,、uh, coat cinnamon mixture all over. So, best way is to mix with clean hand, your own hand, and make sure everything is coated with the cinnamon mixture. And then, over the、uh, baking sheet,、uh, baking, sheet uh, baking pan lined with、uh, parchment paper, place the koya dough. Slice koya dough and then we're gonna bake for 30 to 40 minutes. So, goal is to make crunchy and crispy. So, after 30 minutes, please check and、uh, there you go. <laughs> It's ready, ready to eat. Protein cookies, very, very yummy. Our next dish is a grilled cheese sandwich. No, a grilled tofu sandwich. So, this time I soaked. Koya dofu in chicken stock, nice and warm chicken stock for 10 minutes for the seasoning. And then after 10 minutes, squeeze out the excess liquid. S- squeeze. And then we're gonna slice it. So slice into half. And the reason is I want it to be thin. And so that.、Um, The finished tofu is nice and crispy. And then place the processed cheese, or it's called sliced cheese, and then add ham and add some more cheese. Very cheesy, cheesy sandwich. Heat the frying pan and melt one tablespoon of butter and cook just like a regular grilled cheese sandwich. Nice and gold both sides and until cheese melts over medium low heat. And good thing about this sandwich is no carbo or good、uh, plant protein. And it tastes really, really good. And today I made a grilled cheese sandwich, but you can make regular sandwich too. Our last dish is a soboro. And I already prepared the koya dofu,、uh, soaked in warm water for 10 minutes, and then sc- washed it, and then squeezed out the excess water. And we're gonna use three koya dofu. And my、uh, food processor, mini food processor, place in a fro- food processor and process until it becomes like a regular、uh, ground meat. Until it gets nice and small. And you can substitute with a ground meat. So you can make a, a add into the hamburger, make a vegan hamburger、uh, tacos. 
or meat sauce, anything you like. And today I'm gonna make soboro, so three koya tofu and half bunch of green onion already chopped, and two tablespoons of sake, two tablespoons of mirin, three tablespoons of soy sauce. And two tablespoons of sugar, and one teaspoon of ginger, and some sesame oil. Sesame oil gives a good flavor. And preheat the oven to medium, medium heat, and then spread some sesame oil and add green onion, and saute until oil coat the green onion. And we're gonna add the uh, koya tofu. Add koya tofu, and we're gonna saute. Saute and purpose is to remove the excess water. So saute until it gets kind of a little bit dry, and then we're gonna add seasoning. Now it's nice and dry, and add sake. Meeting soy sauce, sugar, and about one teaspoon of sugar, uh, ginger from the tube, and constantly mixing. Cook another five minutes. And soboro, this soboro, uh, you can use um, in many ways. Uh, spread over rice or spread over salad. And you can mix with rice and make onigiri, rice bowl too. Very useful. 